Hey guys, it's just a little cloth here today, and so this Monster Legends week video, we have three new monster movesets, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first monster we have the moveset for is for Rusty at Redtail. He's going to be a fire attacker with nature hater and triple damage skills. So his first move deals a massive fire damage to one enemy. It can also apply ignite to one enemy and fire weakness to one enemy, which is okay. It does do a lot of damage. And then he also has an AoE heavy fire damage with burn to all enemies, which is really good. He also has an AoE a low fire damage with a fire weakness to all enemies, which is pretty good. He has a heavy fire damage to one enemy. He also has a double damage to itself with light hitter to itself, which is very good. He also has an AoE ignite with moderate fire damage. And he has a damage boost to himself with heavy fire damage. And then he has a triple damage to itself during one turn with a torture immunity, which is a very good move so yeah overall this monster seems really good he seems like a great attacker he can do a ton of damage of course we don't know his traits or anything yet but he does seem like he will be very good and this will be a bounty hunt monster you will get him out of the bounty hunt and he will be paid so yeah if you want to buy him go ahead and buy him and then we have the completed alpine era season of five at checklist if you want to know where any monsters are going to be rusty redtail is the last one and then we have an upcoming monster named mimens which is an interesting name apparently this monster is going to be a team monster and he's going to be light so yeah we'll probably get his moveset very soon and then we have another monster gonzo a nature and magic support with positive effects for both teams which sounds interesting so his first move does a moderate max damage one enemy so i say damage boost to all allies which is pretty good he has a double damage to one ally with 50% stamina to one ally, which is pretty good. He has triple damage to all allies, which is really cool, but that also gives 25% damage boost to all enemies. But honestly, I do think that that one is worth it. And he also has a random negative effect to one enemy. He also has evasion to all allies, but it also gives control immunity to all enemies, which is horrible because control immunity is very good. And he also has a stamina regen to all allies with 100% stamina to all allies, but that also gives stamina regen to all enemies. And he also can apply a random negative effect to all enemies. So overall, decent monster, but honestly not too great. He gives stuff to the enemies, which is very bad for you. But yeah, I guess it's all right. And then we have the Alpine Era Season 6 checklist. If you want to know where any Season 6 monsters are going to be and how you're going to get them. And then we have a Rusty Redtail's description and the Bounty Hunt Season 5 description, which is basically just talking about Rusty Redtail. But yeah, it also talks about how you can get Ancestral Champion tokens, which is pretty cool. And then there's going to be a new Ancestral Relic, the Fiery Forces Trap, pretty much. It can apply burn to the attacker and deal fire damage to the attacker. It can also remove stamina from all enemies, which is really good, and apply fire weakness. And then it can also apply ignite all enemies, which is pretty good. So yeah, overall, pretty good relic. Definitely go and try to get it if you have a bunch of gems laying around. And then the last but not least, we have a one more moveset for Hammer Litsog. This is going to be a light and water controller with Mega Stun and a Blind. So this one can go ahead and apply Stun to all enemies twice, which is pretty good. And it can apply Drown to all enemies once. And then it has a Mega Stun to one enemy with Sunburn, one enemy in the same move, which is pretty good. It also has an AoE Burn and AoE Sunburn. It has a Stamina Regen to itself with Drown to all enemies. All of these don't do very much damage, by the way. It also has a sunburn to one enemy. It can give 50% stamina to itself. It can also give 50% stamina to all allies. And then it has an AoE drown. So yeah, overall, not a very good monster. I don't really like any of these moves. He is not very good. And yeah, that is going to be the last thing for this video. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these monsters and which one you think is the best. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.